Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Now today we're going to discuss how to make an app like YouTube. And I'm sure you guys have probably heard of YouTube before. The success of YouTube is unparalleled. And to think it was only launched 15 years ago. If you're obsessed with YouTube and wish to create a similar app, then you're in the right place. Cause today we're going to discuss the features and the technical aspects of YouTube. As always, if you have any questions as you watch this video, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Going from the basics, YouTube's technology that was used to lay the foundation is accessible in the public domain. Now this doesn't mean that the task of making an app like YouTube is any easier, but it is possible. Being one of the most popular apps of our time, YouTube has over 2 billion log users each month. Let's look at some of the core features and functionalities which would build your video sharing application. Now, of course, one of the most important features is the search bar. For a video sharing app, the search bar is essential. It should be effective and efficient since that's one of the most important factors to determining the success of your app. Two surefire ways to develop a favorable search feature are by allowing users to look for video by title, publisher, and other keywords too, while perpetually adding filters to better the user experience on your app. Now, of course, it wouldn't be a video upload platform if there wasn't a video upload feature. A drag and drop function allows users to upload videos from local disk, Google Drive, Dropbox, etc., etc. With the remote video upload, functionality content from FTP or HTTP locations can also be accessed automatically. Frames and thumbnails. While this may seem like a simple feature, its significance is undeniable. The frame preview feature lets the content creator change or modify the video thumbnails. So it lets them select the perfect first impression through the preview frame on your app. One of the core features of a video sharing app is its live streaming functionality. This permits users to reach out to their followers, general audience, and other users. This is also where you can bring in some new innovations instead of doing everything that YouTube already does. A playlist, because a video sharing app also has the immense potential of being a user's favorite music listening app. So it's a good idea to have a storehouse for it and be able to personalize it. And of course you can't forget social media. Social media platforms seem unanimous when it comes to sharing content on other social handles like Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. Another thing that's very important is analytics. A robust analytics tool will let you have a thorough understanding of user demographics, viewership status, and real-time performance data. This will also enable you to generate reports on different segments to details pertaining to all of the content. So this feature tells you how and which features are working for your app. And of course, security. Adequate security encryptions are mandatory for users to upload audio and video content on the app. You would also require the users to create their accounts or log in via other social media platforms or Google. Other features like responsive design for front-end functionality, admin panel for the back-end managerial support with data and insights, and finally push notifications for an informed user base. Now let's have a look at Google's YouTube from a technical perspective. Through the years, the programming language used in developing the app has changed significantly. The app was built in PHP along with CSS, HTML, and JavaScript in 2005 by the founders. After Google took over, YouTube transformed. The main programming language was changed to Python from PHP. For just a video sharing platform, the PHP program is enough. But as the app grew, PHP started posing a lot of limitations. Unlike its predecessor, Python is much more secure and flexible. Then comes the user experience, which can make or break your app. Invest in a design with a comprehensive layout and intuitive UI. The most common tools are Photoshop, HTML, CSS, jQuery, and JavaScript. Once you're ready with the code for the design user interface, combine it with the streaming server. It's highly recommended to build the app in both iOS and Android systems. 
For the former, use Swift or Objective-C, while the latter can be developed on Kotlin or Java. The main languages used today for the app are Python, HTML5, JavaScript, C++, Go, Java, and C. So there you have it. We've discussed both the features and the technical aspects of the YouTube app to keep in mind when creating your own similar app. As always, if you have any questions as you watch this video, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this.